Hello and welcome to Matt the Groundhopper. It's Saturday, it's game day. You've got a familiar friend with me today. Hello. Can you come, John? Yeah, hi there. Hello, Matt. So we are at Mansfield today. Mansfield Town, the Stags. The Stags at home yeah. to Gillingham. We're at the weigh-in today, so we're going to complete. We're going to be completely biased. Yeah. God, you know what goes on in the game? As opposed sorry, to my. Mansfield. Sorry, Mansfield. As opposed to my normal neutrality, but yeah. So we're here as Jules fans. We're at the weigh-in today. Ground holds just over nine thousand. Nigel Clough, manager. Nigel Clough. Did you ever play for England, Nigel Clough? I think you might have done a few times, didn't you? England? Yeah. Oh, we'll look into that later. Okay, I'm not too sure, actually. Yeah. I, don't know. I, th yeah. I don't know, maybe England B. They used to have England B team. I reckon they? you did. I don't know, yeah. So, we'll have a look at that later. We'll have a look, yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Nigel Clough, the manager. A um, bit of a big cheese, really, if I'm being honest. It was dad being a manager at Derby and Forest. But, yeah, for about 25 minutes to kick off, have a little wander around the ground. Um, field meal, it's called, isn't it? I'm not too sure. Actually. Field Mill. Field Mill. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a retail park here. You can see a few shops and, a few shops and bits and pieces. But yeah, let's have a wander around and let's, we'll see you inside the ground. Three new stands, and yeah. you've got like yeah, a rundown terrace which has been completely boarded up. Yeah. I'm sure they're going to replace that. I think I did read they're going to renovate that at some point oh, as and when they get promoted to League One. But yeah, first impressions though, it's, it's okay. My biggest, my biggest pet hate, open corners. Yeah, don't like open, don't like open corners. You lose, the, you lose the atmosphere. Yeah. But first impressions, it's it's okay. Yeah, the main stands. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. But tell me something. Time. 
quick summary of the first half. I think it's been unlucky, really, Jules. I mean, men's would have been better, yeah. but I just don't think Jules deserved to be 2-0 down. Not 2-0 down, but um, I think the second half of the first half, I think it's pretty much been all men's fault. Yeah, they've been a, yeah, they've been a better team. They've, I'm, su- I'm surprised, because it's a bit of a blow, because I thought we'd come in, I thought we'd win. But we've you know, we still got a second half here, but yeah. we're still 2-0, and it'll be half-time. 2-0. 2 yeah. facts um, that I want to share with you. Firstly, it says here, this ground is the oldest professional football ground in the world. We've done a bit of research, haven't we? Yeah. And it says that Wrexham is the oldest, and then Sheffield United, Bramall Lane's the second oldest, and it's the third oldest. Yeah. So, I don't know why they're saying that. If you know something different, please comment below. But, um, it's actually on the plaque. But it's on the plaque, but above the ground. Yeah, so that's the first fact. And the second fact is we've done some Nigel Clough. Oh, we've done some Nigel Clough. And he, and he did play for England. 16 times, no goals. No goals as a striker. Great bit. <laughs> that's right. But yeah, so he did play, and he played for England B and under 21s as well. But yeah, so he was an England striker, an England international. Six, is it 16 games? Yeah. 16 games, no goals. No goals. Losers. <laughs> regarding the Coke and Mars feature that I've been doing every week oh, yeah, yeah. Right, since October. And the reason I do this is because when I went to West Ham, I was so appalled by the price of a bottle of Coke and a Mars bar being £6. I just thought to myself, how does that compare with other clubs? So I started compared to other clubs and hence why we've got the league table. West Ham are still top. I don't think they're going to be beaten. But um, yeah, that's why we have... <laughs> Mars bar. Like. You love your Mars bars, don't you? Can't beat a Mars bar <laughs> and a bottle. I mean, it could be a Pepsi or a Twix or something, but but you get the gist. That's yeah, why. Crunchy, man, crunchy, yeah. yeah. That's that's why the feature is in the videos. I should probably keep it as well. Yeah, for now, but uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but West Ham are still top, and as I say, I think they're going to stay top for quite a while at six pound for a Mars bar and a bottle of Coke. <laughs> Just had our best chance. Kick them made a pretty decent save, to be fair. Power header, wasn't it? Power header. Um, been on top of the last couple of minutes, but time's ticking away, John. It's, it's not looking great, is it? Though? No, we've made three subs. I don't know whether it's changed the formation slightly, but we seem to improve a little bit yeah, since yeah. the subs have come on. But um, great chances, but it's still, it's still 2 now. It's like, like, I just can't see it scoring. Hopefully, I'm wrong, but yeah, so 2 um, 0 with about what, 15, 20 minutes to go. 16 minutes to go, still 2-0 to Mansfield. Two-nil to Mansfield. I mean Jules have had a couple of chances, but just lacking a clinical finish today, aren't they? Today they are, yeah, um, it's a shame really, but as I say, we are creating chances. We had a good one just from the corner, didn't we? Yeah. Um, it's it's, no, it's frustrating, frustrating. Yeah, it's really it's a frustrating afternoon. Although Jules won the attack. No, no, so it's they lose it. And they lose it, it's, frustra- it's a frustrating afternoon, so I really feel we're, we're going to win today, but it's still 2-0 to Mansfield. Well, it's still 2-0 to Mansfield, but it's not a bad turn, actually, I mean, to be fair. I mean, Lower in the blow, so mind you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, I think there's probably about 700 Jules fans here, maybe a bit more. It's not a tell sitting in this end, but yeah. it's busy for a long trip to Nottinghamshire. But um, yeah, so just under 7,000 for the attendance. Um, good atmosphere, home fans loud. 
That's right. Well, you lose it on this left hand side with this no stand, which is a bit annoying, really. It's incomplete the ground, but um, yeah, but you can hear the drum now going, but fair play to the home fans. You can hear them, really, you can hear them. Oh, yeah. yeah. But um, it's gonna, it looks like it's going to be a Mansfield victory. 2 0. Yeah, it's very disappointing. Um, we're creating chances, probably just don't get the, the ending of it, so it's. Uh, yeah, frustrating yeah, afternoon. So for Green, is it Greensboro? Greensboro, yes, yeah, so I hope they can bounce yeah. back pretty yeah, quick. Greensboro on Tuesday night. But yeah, but it looks like it's going to be the final score of 2 0. Just out of the ground. Yep. Very quick summary for yep. the long journey He's home. Got a train. In the got a train to catch. <laughs> so disappointing. Very disappointing. Um, you know, we're not gonna. I, I really thought we were gonna win today, but yeah. you know, I think, we, I think we was all getting a bit carried away. Really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I was even looking at the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. But you know, so anyway, so two 0 um, Disappointing, but I hope we got Groomsby on Tuesday. So yeah. quick turnaround. Hopefully, we get a victory against yeah. Groomsby. Um, if you like the channel, please subscribe, please click, please comment as yeah. well. And I'm also on Twitter now, so follow me on Twitter and see what I'm up to during the week. But thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next round. See you then. Thanks, Em. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.